adults. We have some new developments to share in the case of a missing mother of three from Pageland, South Carolina. She disappeared almost a year ago. Authorities revealing today DNA results from inside the woman's car. You recall that Deidre Reed's family has been talking about her disappearance, saying that she was last seen alive with her son's father, Emmanuel Bedford. She was supposed to take him to the Greyhound bus station in Uptown Charlotte, but then her car was found submerged in water about 11 miles from Bedford's home. WCNC Charlotte's Indira Skiva shares what we have learned about blood found inside that car. Today, authorities confirmed that the blood found in Deidre Reed's SUV does in fact belong to her. Her family was in court today. They've been to every hearing in their sister's case, hoping to learn one specific piece of information. After months of fighting for information in their sister's case, news confirming blood found in Deidre Reed's SUV belongs to her was a relief to her family. You know, it's actually sad that we've been praying for the DNA evidence to be Deidre, so at least we'll have uh, a little more closure. But closure continues to evade James Reed. His sister went missing on September 3rd after she left Pageland to take her son's father, Emmanuel Bedford, to Charlotte so he could catch a bus home to Georgia. Her car was found submerged in water with her blood inside, but the Reed family still doesn't have what they're looking for. We still don't know what Deidre's at or what he have done with Deidre. She need a proper bearing. Reed's remains have not been recovered, though a death certificate will be issued. Bedford is charged with kidnapping and murder. He maintains his innocence. In today's hearing, we learned he filed complaints against the prosecutor and his own attorney, who decided to quit. Bedford asked the judge to give him bond so he could find someone else to represent him. May I ask for you, uh, your person uh, receiving uh, possibly a uh, the judge denied Bedford's request. Instead, he has 30 days to find another attorney or the court will appoint one for him. In Chesterfield County, Indira Esquiva, WCNC Charlotte.